We're starting? All right, we're here to review the Magic Moon box. It has a uh, Discover Something Magical. It has a picture of my daughter that I'm pretty sure I took. Um, copyright infringement, I think, because I didn't get paid for this picture. But we'll, uh, all right, so we open it up and there's lots of words and they're broken up into the way that they're pronounced. In case you didn't know how to pronounce essential oil, you can learn that it's pronounced essential oil. All right, what's in the box? A uh, bath bomb with palmarosa and rose petals. So I think that's this bath bomb bomb right here. Moondrops magic bath bomb again. Uh, she spelt magic incorrectly. There is no K on magic. It's just magic with a C. Um, I'm not sure where the K comes from. But it is very pretty. It's got little petals and could be used in a bath if you took a bath, but no man actually takes a bath, so we'll just give this to someone else. Uh, moisturizing body lotion. That's this one. Plant-based ingredients. No harsh chemicals, never tested on animals. Probably wasn't tested on anything, to be honest, which, so it's an accurate <laughs> statement. <laughs> it wasn't tested on animals. Hmm. Very nice. I smell like palm of Barossa of something. It is moisturizing. It's very, very moistery. Moistery. I like it. All right, what else do we have? We have petals and palmarosa body scrub. That's this one with no label on it, I'm thinking. <laughs> you've used the body lotion, it's difficult to open. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. <laughs> Is there other instructions? It's like salt. I kind of just want to put it in my food. Is this on the purple sheet? Oh. Aha! Moondrops, Petals, and Palmarosa, all over body scrub. Magic Moon. Apply one to two tablespoons over damp skin and massage in a circular motion for gentle exfoliation. Rinse, leaving behind glowing, moisturized skin. Feels amazing as a hand, foot, or body scrub. Have to tell me if my forehead is it's really shiny. exfoliated or not. Okay, and then lastly, we have beautiful mirror and purse. With again spelled incorrectly, <laughs> beautiful does not have Y-O-U in the middle of it. That's a... Because uh, it's a B-U. B-U to full. <laughs> yes, I can definitely see the exfoliation that occurred on my forehead. It's beautifully... <laughs> beautifully done. back in here. It's my fourth man. Sorry, put Madeline's mirror back in here because it's actually Madeline's box. <laughs> Alright, so this was the Palmarosa essential oil box, the botanical name Sim Simbopogon Martini. She should have put a martini in the box. <laughs> I really like this thing. It's good for your skin. Helps clear your mind so you can relax. Some fun facts, Palmarosa essential oils sometimes used to replace the much more expensive rose oil because of their similar fragrance. Okay. 
During ancient times, physicians used palmarosa oil to lower fevers and prevent infections. Well, I'm glad I put it on my forehead, so any fever that I might be having should be lowered now. Palmarosa is not a rose at all. It is obtained from a rosa grass. The name Palmarosa possibly derived from Latin name palm and rosa rose because it's rose-like fragrance. It does smell a little like a rose. And Palmarosa is a natural insect repellent which I don't believe because the insect holding my phone is getting closer to me as I use the box. But it has historically been used to store grains and beans to keep insects from devouring the harvest. So hopefully our harvest will be safe from the insects. <laughs> But we love this box. It's Palmarosa. <laughs> All right, turn the video off. No way. Brett thinks it's cool. Brett loves it. We all love it. Magic move. Where did the cake come from?